Okay, and other local news, what's going on with Met Park? Um, Met Park. Uh, Don there, Redmond is happening to Met Park. There is a, um, I would call him a moron, but again, moron's a bad name, but there is a city councilman by the name of Don Redman mm -hmm. who thinks it would be a good idea to no longer have live ticketed concerts at Metro Park. And Metro Park's a nice area, it's out on the water. Uh, it's next to the football stadium. Um, so there's like plenty of areas to park. It doesn't, you know. I believe he was citing noise pollution as, as the reason. What? It's right across the street from the stadium where the Jaguars the play. Football like stadium. 50,000 people and they're yelling. Uh, is, wait, wait, wait. Is he trying when has, to... When, has, when have the Jaguars ever played in front of 50,000 people? You're talking about like when they first came to town? What about the Georgia-Florida yeah. game? <laughs> like 10,000 people in there. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Florida-Georgia. It's packed for that. Yeah. Always put Georgia first. Yeah. And the, the, Thank the, you. The world's... What is it? The world's, world's, large, weekend. world's largest cocktail party or world's biggest cocktail party? Yep, that's us. So what do we do about Met Park, guys? Um... Email your city councilman for your district. Um, I know somebody in the Facebook group, I forget their name, emailed pretty much everybody on city council and they got two or three replies posted them mm -hmm. to the group. And basically every reply they got back or any councilman willing to give them a reply basically said they weren't supporting this bill. So that's at least two or three votes that I know of. Good. But, I mean, yeah. you still got... Don Redman, I guarantee you, Dan Kimberly Daniels is going to be behind it. Well, Kimberly uh, Daniels is retarded. Um, How is she? <laughs> hold on, hold on. There's no reason to disparage retarded people. <laughs> How is she versus Den Denise Lee? Uh, Denise Lee is actually, in my opinion, mm -hmm. the best city council person that we have. Uh, Denise Lee is the type of city council person we does well. I don't know if we deserve that level of, of greatness. I don't know. Maybe Don Redman is what this city deserves. But uh, no, Denise Lee is, is great. Denise Lee actually cares about people, cares about issues, is willing to stand up to um, people in her own parties, willing to stand up to our, our mayor on, on issues that other people think might be trivial but are, are important. Uh, she is a, a very, very solid representative and... Honestly, I'd support her for mayor. Awesome. But uh, Kimberly Daniels? Not um, so much. Not so much, no. Do you think Don Redmond is trying to uh, not to generate revenue downtown? That's a possibility. Um, I mean, I know that a lot of the failed buildings downtown mm -hmm. end up in the hands of the Baptist Church. Um, they have managed to pass laws. So it used to be that the Baptist Church had a majority of the seats on our city council. First Baptist Church takes up like five, six blocks just for their church downtown. Yeah, not to mention an additional properties. Yeah, the additional chop properties. They own they own the property that the jail's on. They lease that back to the city. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so. they were trying to build it out. They have a, there's a place that's, everybody calls it the pea farm. I don't know the exact term, but they were starting construction on a second county jail out at the pea farm, but that was years back. I never heard anything about it since, and we're still using. Yeah. Are you literally. familiar with that? No, not at all. Neither am I. Um, it's the first time I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. The, but the, it was the, because of the church. They because it costs us money to just to rent the land that, that massive buildings on. Yeah. But you know he's he's a First Baptist member. I'm willing to bet he gets mostly most of his orders from there. Mm -hmm. You know, I I can't imagine that Don Redman actually thinks. Well, well, when yeah, I met I him... I can't imagine he actually thinks. When I met him, he seemed pretty cool. Uh, he doesn't seem like a malicious person. He just seems like an incredibly stupid person. Yeah. I mean, that's just my, my opinion of him. I've had multiple... Com no, I've had in-depth, long conversations with him. And he's an idiot. I mean, he's a complete idiot. He's not a complete idiot. He has he his own hold. business for quite some time. Is that, that right? He cuts hair. I mean, that, come on. I mean, that's what he did in the Navy. He cut hair. <laughs> he uses clippers. I mean, it's not, you know, I'm sorry, it's not rocket science. Maybe that's his one skill. But he's brick stupid. I've had conversations. He can't even defend his own views. 
you know, you would actually, you would have a conversation with him about different issues that, like, the Occupy people that he was dead set against were in favor of. And every issue, if you explain it to him, he's like, oh, yeah, I agree with that. It's like, why are you out here? Why, 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 why are you here? Because I don't, I don't like the way you're doing this. What? Doesn't even make sense. But a lawful like, protest, even though the city refused. We tried to do it lawfully. We tried to get a, a special permit, a special event permit, and the city refused it mm-hmm. because th- they wrote a law into they wrote a clause into that law citing uh, the First Amendment that they would pick up any any tabs required to get the permit, such as liability insurance and. Yeah, the city flat out refused. So they basically violated their own law because it would have costed them four hundred dollars a day in insurance. No, but you know what? When he when he set up his counter protest, mm-hmm. which was also amazingly stupid, where he decided to go out there and do the exact same thing we were doing to protest what we were doing because he didn't like the way we were doing it. It was a little comical, don't you think? It was extraordinarily comical, actually. I mean, it was like a performance art piece. I mean, I expected him to rip his face off and end up being Andy Kaufman like any second. But um, but no, I mean, you would have a conversation with the guy, and he did not have any views of his own. He simply didn't understand shit about anything. I mean, no, I mean, he really... I, I cannot express to you just how stupid this city councilman is. Now, Kimberly Daniels is like a religious crazy person. That, I mean, that's her thing. She's just a crazy person. That, that's where, for, for, for her, that's where it boils out. I mean, she, she has a church where she performs exorcisms so that, um, you know, so she can exorcise the gay demons out of people or she can exorcise those demons that make women want to be independent. Yeah, she supported the guy in uh, Wisconsin who killed an autistic kid. Uh, do, do the people of Jacksonville are are they are you guys aware of who your city council members are? No, probably not. A lot of most people don't pay attention to local politics. And uh, yeah, Kimberly Daniels actually what was it National Geographic? She was on uh, the show uh, Taboo, I think, or something like that for her. Crazy exorcisms. Yeah. For, for no yeah. reason. Basically, anything, anything that she disagrees with is a demon. How is she a city council member? Um, she's. A, I think she's an at-large district member. So that's like the whole city votes on that. Hmm. And she won. She won because her opponent was. Um, well. A, a slightly crazier. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's Jacksonville. I mean, you can't be too surprised. We've <laughs> we, we've got an abundance of crazy people here. No, okay, I will give Kimberly Daniels credit. There were some issues. I, like I've said, I've sat in on some of the committee meetings that she yeah, was on, here. and she asked. She, she seemed to ask the right questions. She seemed to ra- raise the right concerns. She seems to actually represent the people. So from that standpoint, I'm not necessarily against her. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, there are certain things I don't like about her, but she she's not a horrible, horrible Congress or, or city councilwoman. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it Kimberly Daniels that uh, was during the HRO Human Rights Ordinance mm-hmm. where they were going to? Well, that that's the religious crazy side that <laughs> yeah that shows yeah, she's and like, votes like that. Yeah. Well, she asked the question. I remember it was a. Uh, She's like, yeah, the part that says, you know, it protects, you know, other sexuality. She's like, so is that protect bestiality too? And it's like, you're talking about a woman who thinks that like lesbianism is caused by demons. Yeah. So, or, or they be homosexuality is caused by demons. This is not somebody you can have a rational conversation with, with on these issues. You know, on other issues, she seems to be okay. You know, at, at least in my limited experience uh, sitting in on, on meetings that she's been involved in. You know, she didn't look like she was terribly uh, informed about what she was doing or, or very confident in what she was doing. Mm-hmm. But that was very early on in her being a city councilwoman. So that's completely understandable. It's the first time doing the job. I can get being a little um, tentative and not really 
being sure of what you're what you're supposed to be saying or doing. Right. Um, but even then, she seemed to be doing a good job in her representation. However, that said, her issues she's horrible on. Yeah. Um, as for you know, Don Redman, he's just brick stupid. I mean that that's it. He's, Has he done anything for Jacksonville that for the for the I'm sure he has, uh, aside from embarrassing Jacksonville right. with that whole Pervez, uh, uh, with the, the Human Rights Council mm-hmm. uh, nominee was a Muslim and he asked him to pray to his God, which call, caused the uh, city's attorney to run to the microphone. Can I talk to you privately for a moment? <laughs> it's like, I guess it was... Oh, that's on video. That's out. Look that up on the internet. That is just yeah, Where amazing. can they go to to look? I know, you just out. Google Don Redman and um, uh, do, do you remember the guy's name? Here, um, pretty sure I should be able to look it up. Don Redman. Don Redman Muslim would probably work. Probably. Uh, you know what? Just just do it later. Link it below in the video. Just just link that. You'll find. We'll we'll link it. That sounds good. Um. But yeah, that that was amazingly embarrassing. But I'm sure he's done some things. I know he supports the Jaguars. Good. Um, I think he he's gone a little overboard in that support. But I think all of City Council really goes a little overboard on that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we've we've actually fired police in order to keep in order to give kickbacks to the Jaguars. I mean, it's not exactly a good trade there. But you know, when have the Jaguars been involved in a good trade? Ha, 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 ha.